Hey everyone, thanks so much for checking out your Storm 5 weather forecast. News Channel 5 meteorologist Henry Rothenberg with you. Through the overnight clouds and rain, I hope you enjoyed Friday because soggy weather, the story for the week, and at least temperatures will be uh, well above the freezing point. So this is all going to be rainfall. Heavy at times, if you think this is going to last just one day, unfortunately not. As we look at exact track, often on showers Saturday night into Sunday morning, and unfortunately it's with us for a good chunk of the day Sunday. Starting to quiet down though by Sunday night. Totals from this anywhere from two to four inches. That's what we're expecting. Could see some higher amounts now as we go towards southeast Tennessee and east Tennessee as well. In fact, that's where we're going to see the focus of a flood watch from Saturday morning all the way until Sunday afternoon. Basically, uh, you've got the 65 corridor and going east. A few of our counties to the west of it, uh, as you can see within the News Channel 5 viewing area. But regardless, if you have plans in East Tennessee this weekend, please make sure you're weather aware as the rain is going to put a damper on things. Make sure they're indoor plans too if you have to travel that way. Rain to start Saturday. Temperatures in the 50s could even have a rumble of thunder out there. We'll make it into the upper 50s, but the clouds and the rain still the story going into news time Saturday night. 58 where we top out, then 51 on Sunday. Just a cool gray day on Monday at 49 degrees. The rain should be gone. Looking good on Tuesday before late on Wednesday, which is Valentine's Day. Rain chances pushing back in, lingering through Thursday, and should start to taper off come Friday with some clouds lingering in the area. Thanks for checking out your forecast. Meteorologist Heather Mathis will have more starting at 5 a.m. on News Channel 5 this morning. I hope you can join her then.